Did you see Dave as well? Dave's here? Yeah. No, he's not. Is yeah, he? he is. <laughs> Dave Portnoy's here. <laughs> so, there's something going on. If it was something big, if it was something big don't, you think, don't you think the big cat would be here? I think the secrecy is big rumble. What do you think this meeting is about? Okay, uh, announcement time. Kind of big one, so... As of this moment, while you were watching this video, I have purchased back Barstool Sports from Penn. So that is right, it's back to the pirate ship. So welcome back, back in control. chairs, everything's been turned to dust uh, without any real warning. We all kind of thought, I think, the same thing, that... It happened over the weekend. It happened over right? the weekend, yeah. then we had today to get all of our shit yes. out. We were sorely Wrong. mistaken. Uh, everything's gone, and now we're all kind of stuck together we'll in the gambling cave. The work area. Did you guys know about it no. happening? You think they tell us? Let me tell you something. Che is going to Chicago with a basketball court. We, we got couches. So I don't know what... What the hell else they want us to do? But hey, we're at work. We're, we're working. So there's a big fuss about laptops are being stolen. They don't know where they are. There was a point in time I didn't own a laptop and they were laughing in my face. Who's laughing now? I have nothing missing. You still blogging on iPads? I have the keyboard. It's five years here full time. Never given a work laptop. Not my fault. Where you at, Pete? You're never given one? No. I mean, it's probably gonna look really nice when they're done, but I, oh, I mean. Don't pander <laughs> us. They're doing desks. No, that, that was patronizing. Yeah, that was patronizing. Oh, your, your, your little place. <laughs> the seating chart came out. Are you guys happy with your seats? Are you kidding? No. <laughs> and the creation is, I think, I, I thought me and Enrique were pals. Now I'm like by Erica's office across from Frank the Tank. I'm a Windows guy, I'm a corner guy. I'm not, I, I can't sit across. I, I love the tank, but I can't sit there. I'm gonna be hearing about the Mets and fuck. <laughs> in like February. New digs, Frank? New desk? Uh, I kinda like the old way better. <laughs> Who do you sit across from? I don't know yet. There's no law and order here. We gotta sign seats. But everybody's trying to trade seats. It's like, we have seats, just sit there. I, you know what I like to do? What I'm told. I'm like, a good soldier. I like rules, I like law, law and order. order. Clemmer, Clemmer's trying to trade, everybody's trying to yeah. trade. I'm not yes. trying, I just, I just want, I just feel like I'm out of the loop. Law and order. You get a seat, you sit there. That's it. It's Maybe simple. Dave and Erica wanted you to be out of the loop. Yeah. Maybe they did. They're Dave, called, Dave will be here today. Let them know. Say you're not happy with your desk assignment. Why would Dave interest in all of that? Why don't you talk to Dave about it? I'm fine with every the way everything is. What do you think? Wait. Has no power. You do that on purpose? Yeah. It's overcoming adversity. Oh, how, that's what I need to do. Yeah. How fast can I you... The little battery go. icons going down. How fast can you get a blog out? Let's go. Let's like... Yeah. Yeah. So you're saying you're it's, 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 it's warming up with the donut on your back. Then when you get electricity... Boom, boom, popping home runs left and right. But if there's no power, it's like having no battery. No, yeah, you, you have to you have to crank out your blogs with as much battery as you have. It's pressure. Can you blog under pressure? And when it completely goes out, what happens? Let's go take a nap. <laughs> now there's less room for the toys in the place, but yeah. Well, Jeff D. Lowe's one. Yeah. I felt like a shot at Jeff D. Lowe's. Yeah, yeah. That was 100%. <laughs> he, <laughs> he packed up all of his little toys and had to move across the country to have enough room for him. That's some bad real estate. Climber? <laughs> yeah. Why? Right. We're so far away. Like, I mean, I love how far away you are. No, but if people in front of us that would never come in. Yeah, I, I, the further away, the better. Show me your eyes. I've officially traded my desk with Devlin. Oh, no wow. compensation needed. Just straight up one for one. The, de the deal is in. I did make a trade. It kind of got offered out of nowhere. I would have loved to have a window. I, I thought about having Ken Jack try to figure out how can you give me a window seat. There, there was no alley to that. I'm not content. I'm safe over here. I don't have a desk. 
I don't think they gave you one. Jesus. Dude, what the Yikes. fuck? The oh, fuck damn. is this? <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? I don't like this at all. I don't got a desk. They didn't give you one. I didn't get a desk. <laughs> That's tough. I probably thought you were going to Chicago. There, there's, there's writing on the wall and I'm getting scared. <laughs> I'm literally you're just going to claim that Gaz's desk again like you did the last time. Oh, oh Billy Boy's second guessing that decision now, isn't he? Doesn't even have a desk. <laughs> Once you, I mean. I have somewhere you can sit, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we just washed ashore from like a plane wreck and we're also looking for our belongings. Like, has anyone seen my granddaughter? <laughs> we have a lot to situate all that. This cannot be on my mind. A book about drag queens. Vaginal telescope, a hot black athlete. You can see because there's um, nail polish and semen on there. <laughs> so that's how you know it's mine. There it is. What is Tom Brady's ball doing here? <laughs> Hashtag deflate gate. Are these Billy football? <laughs> Will Smitty get mad at me like what was in there? For you? What does he look like? <laughs> kind of blockhead ish. Why are you so obsessed with Smitty's desk? I'm not. It's because this shit is all over my, my, my plant walls. Maybe she should work from home. It's insane. Not on the schedule. Last week there was a lot of we're adults, we don't need to be told where to sit. And then everybody came in today and sat exactly where the scene chart told them to. But I'm worried that when the full Chicago move happens, the way that the New York City office is currently structured compared to the way the Chicago office will be structured, we will be left in the dust in New York City. But what do you mean left in the dust? We'll just you'll one of as much fun or no, it's not about fun, just about output. Funding. Uh, the way we're viewed, the way it looks on social, the way people pay attention to Chicago compared to New York, I think. But you can't always control the way that you're viewed. As an office, I think we should be more hands-on in ensuring our survival. And I know you've had these similar conversations I've had. Yeah, but I'm not like uh, doing if you, if you wanna, it. If you want to talk about it, you have to talk about it. I know, but I'm saying my too. perspective is not doom and gloom about it. I'm like, oh, my, this is I, a, no, 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 I'm, trying to, I'm trying to be proactive instead of reactive. So what would you and mean I proactively? Well, I mean, you, you can't just hammer me about the details when I know you've had these exact same conversations to be proactive. But I'm, so I'm, let's I'm, talk about those conversations. I just don't want them to say, all right, like, wash our hands, office, Ikea couches, connect four, we're done. <laughs> right? And so you think that that's a half-ass rebrand? You, you agree with that? I mean, uh, yeah. the couches and yeah. connect four has, has been a success. I don't like when people complain without a better plan. I am being proactive on that. I am gathering information from everybody in the office about what we need and want and could use and I'm relaying this to the powers that be. I want to speak for the people who are scared to speak. I can't throw business floor people under the bus. It's not my role, it's not my job. What? To throw business floor people under the bus? What would happen? <laughs> yeah, you can't say it. There's cameras on. But I can't do it. That's where you were so good on radio. You held people accountable. What happened? I went on Yak yesterday and they wanted me to like trash the business floor and I was like, I'm not gonna do that. For what? Competence, but I'm not going to do that. Why? Not my, not my role. Dave doesn't want me to be the dog. He wants me to be Zen. I'll be Zen. Whatever the leader says. What do you think this meeting is about? Five more years of Dave. No, Tommy CEO. No, Robbie CEO. Yeah, we're talking Robbie CEO. No. Tommy's chief of content. If you think this isn't good news, you're insane. I think it's definitely not good news. Call me insane. Insane. Dave wouldn't be doing wacky bits with me if it was bad news. You, you <laughs> mark this footage, and then once they make this good news announcement in a few hours, you find me. I'll give you like the Jim Halford like smirk, like told you so. I hope you're right, Mr. Cross. I am right. I'm always right. What's the big announcement? <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. You're staying. <laughs> Why wouldn't it? It's a pretty big announcement. You're halfway. Why can't you say it now? So nobody's panicking. It's totally it. Vacation. He's been on vacation three weeks in the last four. He's worked here for six months. So no Rico today, Dave? I saw you on a regular blog. <laughs> it, 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 like people think we joke. He's literally been on vacation three of the last four weeks. Yeah. He worked for six months and took three weeks vacation. It's incredible. I've been here for 20 years. I've taken one week. He, he thought they. I, he, he said he thought they had five weeks. He's like, that's why I got the fire department. Is he in Aruba right now or something? In, in the middle of summer. It's crazy.
I didn't send any emails about the fucking sedum chart. Neither did I. I'm up there. I heard there's a tree in the room. We're gonna have to make some trades. We're gonna get the band back. Keep Jack away from me. Is T.O.D. coming back? Oh, O'Day? That's the, uh, Is that what the meeting's about? You're gonna get... It's about O'Day. We're having a meeting on the roof of the Empire State Building. Cream. Yeah. You don't have a desk. No, I took the Mean Girls desk. Why? Because they haven't been in here in... Do you not like them? No, I love them. You and Rico? Have they all? Figured the number two should be here for the big meeting. I think this is when Dave. You presenting? This is when Dave hands over that equity. This is the moment. It's been a prank this whole time. Yeah. I think it's to go over uh, the seating situation that happened this week. No, I think it's because he resigned. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> Robbie Fox is the new CEO. That's the other rumor going around. Is those the rumors? <laughs> it's either Dave resigned or Robbie's the new CEO. Someone else had. Someone was. I've gotten a million texts about why we're having a company meeting, which is kind of crazy. We're just having a company. Well, I mean, you're here for the first time in six months. I Dave's, was always Dave's playing. here. Erica was in a pretty good mood yesterday, which is strange. So there's something going on. People said it's because we don't have a basketball court in New York City. <laughs> well, we have Connect Four, so that's a little Is it because Jack Mack hit 600,000 followers? There's a lot of people. Well, Jack Mack can do it anybody. Can do it. A lot of people. So that's not a big deal. I've heard. And this is just rumblings that like I'm gonna kind of be in charge now. Like Dave's handing off the company to me officially. Robbie actually texted me this morning yeah, and said, a... "Did you hear what the news is about? He's promoted the CEO." Robbie. Robbie. Yeah, Robbie. Robbie, Robbie there's a couple. Of... <laughs> I think it might be like Robbie's the new Eric. I'm the new Dave. <laughs> like it's like that's kind of, it's like CEO chief of content. Yeah, Robbie's like convinced he's the new CEO. So, Tom, chief of content. <laughs> chief of content. Yeah. Robbie CEO. Get to work. What do you think the meeting is about, Rhea? Um, Robbie becoming CEO, obviously. That's what I hope it is. I think everybody's been talking about it for a while that Robbie's been in the talks, so I'm hoping it comes to fruition. The rumors have caused Penn stock to go up like 15%. If you look at the ticker, this the word got out, and they believe it. Penn's down 3% today. <laughs> it's a big day for me. It's huge. A long time coming. I know, we've been talking about it for a while, for years, since we started, basically. Yeah. I didn't think it would come this fast. So unexpected. <laughs> I wore my best shirt. What's the future of Dave? You keep him on. Sick. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> he demands a lot of, you know, doesn't bring in the page views like he used to. Are you going to be sitting here? No, I'll be up there. <laughs> I'm taking over Jay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I actually, is it about Robbie sitting in my... Sitting at my desk. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, that's what it's about. She hasn't heard the news. I'll fire her. <laughs> if anything, I'm the new CEO. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's not no. what people were rumbling about. Well, I did hear that Robbie is CEO, <laughs> and I think it's deservedly so. I mean, he's got the collared shirt on. Look how he's tenting his hands. Tommy's new president of this office, and yeah. much to the dismay of Tommy Smokes, there's a new sheriff no, in town. I'm, I'm the new Dave, and he's the new Erica. <laughs> I view myself as the I new like Jay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's like succession, like we've known for a while. Somebody's gonna take over. And it's you. Today is the day. We didn't expect it. Am I still here? Yeah. Of course. Of course. Yeah. You're great to see you. It seems like this is bigger than just like <laughs> oh, wow. any meeting. People are rumbling about me. Because like, cause, cause <laughs> Fox Man is in the mix. The Fox Man did his hair. He's ready to go. It's, it's different because we're usually given notice. And today it's just oh. like, hey, by the way, there's an important meeting, earnings call tomorrow. Gaz took the, the meetings oh, yeah, after. Yeah, yeah. The, calls the meetings over. after the market closes. Uh, yeah. You know, just <laughs> earnings is today. Bringing up some facts. You know we follow Dave's earnings here. closely. Dave, Dave's you, here. You're here. Me, Erica. I'm here. If it was something big, if it was something big don't you think? Here. Don't you think Big Cat would be here? No. No. Honestly, if it's <laughs> no, so, it's like, the New York office. If it's not involving him, why would he need to shut it down? Well, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just get this wall repainted? Well, you're the CEO. You tell us. Oh. Yeah. Rumors. Wow. What are you gonna do with this? We'll, like, we'll, we'll take that. We'll take that offline. <laughs> you're staying. I'm taking over for Jay. Oh, you're taking Jay's job. You didn't tell me she was staying. No, she's staying. Oh, I'm out. Okay. Is gas staying? It's the first order of business. What are you doing about the desk yeah. situation on That's, the second floor? The desk situation is a tough one. People are people are upset about it. I think we need more people on top of each other. More desks. I agree. A way to get when all the guests come in to go this way instead of that way. Because then that would make more interaction. There'd be more stuff going on. Like the old office. When you come off the elevator, it's like, oh, there's all the desks in front of the elevator. I'd make that as an executive decision. Are you skinny now? <laughs> I appreciate it, but no. I think you look great. I appreciate that. Thank you so much.
what do you think the meeting is about today? I would say Rico Bosco's job security. <laughs> Dressed up for it, I see. <laughs> Dressed up for what? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, announcement time. Kind of big one, so a shocker, I would actually say. So as of this moment, and we're going to put up a little press release in a little bit, and Penn just did it. We are no longer a Penn company. Uh, we've gone separate ways. I bought back Barstool, so I own all of it now. Um, <laughs> because they had an opportunity with ESPN. It ended up being like really good for us and probably a spot we want to be anywhere. Uh, anyways, excuse me, where we can go back to just being ourselves. We don't have to worry about you know what we say, what we do. Uh, I have no plans ever to sell Barstool again. Um, I've already you know made the money that I need to make. Uh, this is just a place where I want to be like the best content on the internet and funny people working hard and that's all you gotta work with. Uh, Rico Bosco on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> like that type of shit won't fly. That's how, you know, Rico's now on a year to year contract in the next <laughs> thousand years. Um, I can't stress this enough. This is a very good day for Barstool and everybody here. Work hard, do your job well, and this should be like a happy, fun place to work as much as, you know, the nates of the world can make it. Fun. <laughs> the big thing is go make content, be great at it. Have fun. This is an electric, amazing place to work. This is a once in a lifetime story. So I think this is great. It's a very good day for Barcelona, for sure. So thank you, and uh, you know, to another million years, I guess. Yeah. Everyone else is happy. Yeah. I'm glad everyone's happy, but I guess I'm not getting promoted. It's like I'm not here. It's like I'm invisible. I was a contender for CEO. <laughs> Just so everyone knows, I was being discussed. My only question is, is Mincy coming back? <laughs> only question. I mean, to be fair, it's all he's been concerned about for months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every day he comes to work crying. This guy hasn't been funny in two years. And now he has the chance now to do I it can. again. This is going to be great. Everybody was doom and gloom this morning. I said, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Nobody Let's believed go. me. 8-8. Eight, eight. Good day. Good Let's day go. at Barcelona Sports. <laughs> Fucking right. Let's go. <laughs> team Portnoy. Great day to be at Team Portnoy, man. We've never had a meal together. We've never. You are invited. I would love to. We, it's not gonna be me and you, so. God, it's so good to be back. People hate me. The stock market up thirty percent. <laughs> Is DT DTG back now? Well, that wasn't why it wasn't back. Uh, I had no money. <laughs> Dave, you told me to back? Yes! Yes! yes. <laughs> I'll probably have to negotiate with him versus myself. Let's see. Holy shit, that was like, I'm like floating down the interstate right now, babe. So you, we, you, you're you coming back, right? Uh, fuck it, hey, I'm coming back. Dude, and it, I mean, like that's even a question, you know. I told I told you I said Rick Watch over those other offers. You were my, you were always my guy, always. Well, you're, ba we, you're back. I mean, you're, you're yeah, back. Yeah, there's no chance in hell I'm not. I mean, I'm the happy, I mean, I can't even tell you how happy I am right now. And I just appreciate you giving me this opportunity. And I, I just, I'm, I feel like I'm floating in space. <laughs> all right, well, it's a, we'll, we'll, we'll get it all papered up. We'll just switch it from brick back to bar stool and uh, we're good to go. Done, all right, all right. Mincy's back. <laughs> All right. Man, thank you, thank you so much for everything. And uh, like I said, my dad like almost started crying when I gave him that watch. It meant so much to him. So yeah, it was a little blurry, but you can see the tears through the fog. But uh, Mincy's back. We're back. Just right. I love it. You said that just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. Like I said in the Gleason video too. I love that you said that. Yeah. All right. I'll talk to you soon. All right. Mincy. We're back, baby. We're back. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's do it. Can't wait. All right. All right. Bye. All right. <laughs> I don't even know how it came to be. It came to be quickly, so like the pen had to go a different direction because of the regulatory shit, which I get. Uh, I want to make sure Barstool's, you know, Barstool. So the opportunity basically arose for me to fucking buy it, and I bought it. And now 
you know, the Nates of the world are fucking safe. Because who knows what would have happened in, you know, Dave List, Barstow List ecosystem and all these little people out there. I mean, Glenny Balls, Nate Dog. We got a lot of people there who have no life skills maybe outside these doors. Bosco? Bos well, Bosco. Bosco is going to have to fight for his salary. That was sort of the incentive me and Dan were talking. Like, if we do this, Bosco is then on the hook to, like, beg for his fucking supper every single year. So I'm excited about that. Especially no more three three week vacations for Bosco. That's ending. But yeah, it's a great day. So what actually happened? It was scenes. It was it was scenes. It was scenes from I mean could not be more perfect for a guy who doesn't gamble and and lets it fly and says a lot of dumb shit on the internet. It's a great day to be me. It's a great day to be me. That's yes. one way or another. Yeah. That's that's everything. Just everything. everything Barcelona. Yeah. That's awesome. Yep. <laughs> Cracky Nation's a safe fellow. <laughs> <laughs> you thought the whole second in command thing was a joke? <laughs> <laughs> you, Gaz, and Nate? And Eric. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's the big three. You got equity, he got a dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I didn't exactly, know until exactly two seconds ago. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is a fit right here for a good time dinner. You gotta lay your backpack behind. He's wearing you LA gear. You definitely can't wear your backpack, no, your hat, and your glasses. Where are we and you're LA you LA playing Little League? Are you gonna play center field? You just came from middle school. Yeah, you're just gonna eat green. Are you gonna bring a skateboard to polo? So we can't have back. Hey, Nate, kill yourself. Nate's days were numbered with the date was company. I've been talking about that for six months. Like, about how once my thing's done, I'm out. Ken's gonna look down the roster and go, who's Eric Nathan? Right. Cross me off. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel about Snoop? He's another guy, probably. Penn would've been like, all we hear is how dumb he is. But it's like, well, he hired him a long time ago. Yeah, what time is it right now? 9.45. 9.45. That we got a couple people over here. These motherfuckers don't show up. I'm only in the office for a fucking week. What the fuck are these idiots doing? This is a disaster. And, and we're not talking about Cy Young and Ted Williams. We're talking about Smitty, Glenny, Marty, Tommy. Th th this section over here, if they died, nobody would notice. And they can't fucking get in here. I'm sorry. The whole fucking place is in. I've owned one company for less than 24 hours and nobody's here. It's crazy. What time do you get in? Like 9.59. You weren't in at 9.59. No, I got in like 5.59. Ha, why? First day, you can't beat me in? I took you to dinner? Like, what the fuck? You complain about everybody else. I'm here. Now, this place is dead a fucking ghost town. Uh, how was dinner last night? Dinner was really good. Looked lovely. We had a really good time. Yesterday Justified. was a great day. I was, ended up being correct about everything. Uh, dinner was lovely. Uh, we had some sushi, some steak, That's some right. bread, some drinks. Came in uh, a little late today and back at the bottom. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you weren't here either. Nobody was here. What time do you get in? Keats, you weren't in. Caroline, not in. Nobody was in. What were you shooting? What were you shooting? I shot something at 9 a.m. in Dumbo. Yeah, good. Probably the last one in, but I probably did way more work this morning than any of the people here. If my drink got your 10 you should have seen the strides I was making. There was nobody in there. That place was dead ass empty. Day one of me owning and no one can show up. Bobby Fox got diarrhea. That's like fucking uh, Tommy Lights. I, I don't like driving uh, early because of traffic. What? <laughs> what are you writing down? <laughs> Take a note, maybe. No, I'm trying to see what I want in the rundown. The Quite the fall from grace. We'll see you one night, the next <laughs> diarrhea. That's what happens. <laughs> Even CEOs get diarrhea. Shit happens. And we walk in, no one's fucking eating. No one. It, it, 
It was so stunningly voice silent. Voice of God. Yep. Give me like a 15 count and then we're good. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's awesome. This is the guy. He's awesome. He's, he's, he's working right right that. Show <laughs> <up>. <laughs> Respect. Yeah. That's what you should yeah. do. You should yeah. be fucking on the hop. Yeah. That's the type of what I expected to see here. People yeah. busting around. <laughs> <laughs> You're literally busting your ass. This video wrote seven blogs in all of July. I just emailed you the whole list. What else does he do? Nothing, right? He's a stay at home, so he's just doing nothing. He's robbing us. Occasionally comes in for Pick Central. He's then... robbing us. Smitty's robbing us. We're getting robbed by Smitty. Smitty, God bless him. He said Penn offered him four, four months maternity leave. That's a good gig, so I don't know. People have babies, I don't, I don't fucking know. This crap's been nonstop. I was here till about midnight last night. Woke up in a panic. Uh, and just, uh, adding everything to the prep sheet as Dave tweets and eviscerates Smitty. Just making sure we have every tweet on there. I think it's going to be great. It's just a uh, shit show right now. But we, we're ready for this. We, I think we'll I legit had a dream about, case, uh, about uh, Parcel Radio. You slept? Good for you. How's it feel to be back on the ones and twos? Unbelievable. I mean, it's next time we're going to be doing a pizza review, you know? We yeah. Thought we, had, we thought we had it good on the golf course, and we're right back into the rat race. <laughs> Great day for Barstool, for Frankie. He's back on the train. Fucking <laughs> Probably where I belong. All right, so I won't be using my computer then. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Did you see the sign outside? The, it's who do you think is the most nervous for Dave to be, like, back in the I office? I guess that you would be. <laughs> You were Bosco. Yeah. Welcome back to the greatest reality show on the planet Earth. Barstool Radio is back. I felt like for the first time in maybe 10 years, I was a fan again. The uh, difference in the company, the culture, the vibe was, I mean, palpable to say the least. Like, I hung out till like seven o'clock last night, just like goofing. You know what it really was? Everybody just hung around to clown on Nate. What's up, dog? What's up, bitch? How was dinner? Dinner was lovely. Yeah. It's your I mean, bond. Are you on? Is it Mike on? Yeah, well, Frankie hasn't worked in three years. <laughs> Dave, the dog, Dave and the dog hit a rum tap. Already? Dog, already? A major change is is going to be, I told Smitty, like, you're not a stay-at-home dad at work. Like, that's out. If you right. want to stay at home, go go work somewhere else. Right. But, like, either be in the office or don't work here. So like, yeah. if you're Nate Dog, Tommy Smokes, the loser pen, <laughs> you better fucking be here. You should shows, almost want to be here, you know? It shows that you don't have any appreciation at all. Like, you're you're just taking this all for granted. That's what it shows. I think it's more that it, like, it just kind of... It's like you showed your true colors a little bit, where it's like there wasn't one part of your brain that said, like... I should be there, or I, I want to be there. Like I work from home in the morning, then I, I got here at 10.30. But I think like, the yeah. vibe should be like, I'm going to work for the office today because it's day one of like the new, you know what I mean? Yeah, but obviously in break, retrospect, yeah, yeah, yeah should have. Yeah. Like, that's robbing. That's stealing. So we got to change that. Like He needs me <laughs> to keep this place going. Absolute disaster. Yeah, Dude, no music. It was, it was chaos. You guys lose audio for... Oh, for everything. I got a notification on my whoop that I had hit a massive stress moment around like 1.30. Nightmare. I mean, you were fucking it up pretty bad. But when we went live, it was, it was, nothing was ready. Everything I was hitting wasn't going out to the thing. I'm like, so I turned around, there's a guy working in there, and he was like freaking out, and he just left the room. <laughs> and I go, where are you? I said, when you leave the room, where do you go? Because he left the room three times. And he goes, I'm, I'm going to look for Pete. So I walked over to Pete, and I said, Pete, you get your fucking ass in here. I said, your room is fucking crumbling. That's what I said to him. And he came in, and we fixed it. Dave, Dave, people are asking, are we going to get Uber Eats money? And they cut it off. We got eighty dollars a month. I thought it was eighty a day. So you want to show up at noon and eat instantly? Yeah. You know how much better my life would be if I could just show up at noon and have free food. Improve around this report, Mike. Mm -hmm. You gotta take advantage of everything. So like, yeah. maybe if you're good employees and get here on time, and like, don't stack vacation weeks on top of vacation weeks. What time did you get here today? I took you to dinner yesterday, and you took advantage of me. So where'd they go to dinner? Zero bond. As we're walking out, like ordering extra glasses of wine and like putting them in his pocket. <gasps> That's <is> not true. <laughs> How crass of you. 
thought he was going to think I just got here. <laughs> Funniest Daily Mail headline? Yeah. Dave Porter calls out fucking brain dead Barcelona employees for not showing up in office on first day back after he bought the company with a picture of his empty seats. <laughs> Business is booming. <laughs> <laughs> I did it again. You're welcome. Uh, it is Thursday, August 10th. Back on Barstool Radio Live. Uh, we can have uh, Barstool Radio with. Um, me and Dave, it could be Barstool Radio with Tommy and Riggs, it could be on Sirius, it could be on uh, YouTube, it can be new, old. There's a running theme of just Smitty getting dunked on by somebody at some point. I think we'll probably hear from him today, I don't know for sure, but he was obviously the focal point of a lot of... Uh, of shit yesterday, I, I've heard through the grapevine he is very, very pissed. I don't know is he if he's in or wants to come in. Oh, 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 oh no! Here we go! Here we go! General, General Smitty. He's not here, Smitty. General he's not here. Yeah, I can't remember when we moved to New York and everyone kind of like pretend to like me here, and I got you guys all these baseball bats. Like I don't I pretend to like you. I like you, Smitty. I so Dave has been you know going in on you. Did you talk with him afterwards, or was there any? any... No, I was. I was going to talk with him today. He texted me in Dave's style. Uh, what do you do here? You wrote seven bugs all July. Had a kid on May 29th and was on paternity leave until recently. We'll be blogging more, but things have been going on. Blah blah blah. Are you still on paternity leave? Not technically, but like, be honest. Like I probably should be. I was offered 16 weeks by Penn, and I said I only needed four to six. Penn doesn't own Barstow anymore. I do, and I expect people to earn their salaries. I can't control A, when my kid's born, and B, what Penn offered and what I took for paternity leave. I can't go back in time. He's gonna be like, I don't give a fuck what Penn offered you or what you did take or didn't take. He would, you know, throw his baby out of the fucking garbage and come to work the next day. I don't, I don't know, it seems a little tense on there. Somebody walked in with a baseball bat. <laughs> it, 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 it is brutal, but it's just kind of... That is quite the intimidation factor. Yeah, I mean, if, if, if any person is standing around holding a baseball bat in their hands for an hour, I think people are going to be like, what's going to happen? I, at, at this point, I mean, your, your history with Dave is a long-storied one. Can I straighten up one thing that you said yesterday? Yeah, I don't give that's a why we're doing it. Fuck about Showergate. I don't give a shit about that. And I've told him this a million and one times. I don't care that you film me in the shower. I don't give a fuck, Dave, that you film me in the shower. Is that clear enough? Dave Portnoy doesn't lie. He doesn't lie. He doesn't lie. But there's a lot of revisionist history when it comes to me. Some of it's true. Some of it's bad. Some of it is just like a little out there. And I appreciate Dave. I love Dave. I, I. Thankful for the opportunity that he has given me and will continue to fulfill my contract. But Jesus Christ, especially when I have a family and he's, I'm trying to explain to him like what's going on to weaponize social media against me like that, whether he meant to or not, it sucked and it sucks for my family. It's going to be that way. I know, I know. And that's what I signed up for when I started working here in 2011. I don't know if I can do it after my contract. Yeah, you're out? I don't know. I, 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 I gonna have that discussion with my family and also to clear something up i live two and a half hours away and i've been up here pretty regularly ever since i live basically a half hour closer than jeff Nadu, who never fucking came up but the, okay so this is the point i think this is dave's point i get that i sympathize with that but that is a choice you made to live far away from your job. I know. I made that and choice. I made that choice, which was approved in 2020 there's when, a, I, was, there's a when difference, I was streaming so, and there was radio yep. and there was a difference. And but now there's three a, years but later, the, But there's also different. a difference between approved and is this good for your career? You, you made a work-life choice. His point of view is that is not neither here nor there because you just need to do more work. That's fine. But you make a choice between family and work and one of them suffers. And when work suffers, your boss is not going to be happy, you know? It's that, honestly, is it fair? No, I fucking lost a, a, you know, I had a failed marriage, like largely because of it. Like it's 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 a tough 24 hours. I'll get over it. I'll be fine, and we'll get back to normal. I'm definitely I'll be here blogging. Yeah. Well, I think that's Dave all. He's always right. It's, for five years, I haven't come at him. Five years. I'm not even coming at him now. Like I love Dave. I'm very grateful. You came in here slamming the bat. bat. <laughs> <laughs> it's not coming at him. That's let's, put, let's put the bat down. How about, I think we'd all feel a little more comfortable with the bat one. No, absolutely. This is the only thing I found. This is the only thing I found from my desk. Okay. Everything else is thrown out. Oh yeah, it's Joey apologizes for that. He threw out all your stuff. Whether I'm here or not after three years, or I'm here or not before then, I'll figure it out. I'll be fine. I'm a big boy. I can take it. It's just when things 
seemingly out of my control get exasperated like yesterday and it spills over. If you do better at Barstool, it, it's worse at home. And when you do more at home, it's worse at Barstool. And that's probably a lot of jobs, but it's very heightened here. Then I'll put it out there again. I love Dave. I have no problems with him personally. I thank him for everything. There you go, Dave. Thank you. And if you, if you, you want me to admit I'm the cherry case? I'm a charity case. Sure, Dave. I admit it. I'm a charity case. There you go. Quote it. All right. Uh, as far, you know, when you are in the blender, it is a not a fun time. As the other guy. How do we think that went? I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> when he put the headphones on, when he was... Coming in. Oh my Slamming god. Barstool down. Radio is so fucking bad. <laughs> it's good. This is, I'm not gonna lie, this is tough for me to keep my mouth shut. This is good. I'm happy. Yeah. I'm ready to roll. Let's go. How you doing? You look Fantastic. fabulous. Wow, the oil. This looks like this looks like a phone operation right now. Hello, so? Dave. Oh, oh. oh. What? I promised I would never touch him again, and I almost tried to tongue kiss him. But I pulled away. It was a good recovery. But he was like, Stu, remember? You know, like, it was like, Stu, remember? You know, look at him, the bold showing. Stu, Stu, remember? Ready to roll.